So today I'm going to talk a little bit about how we look at a uh, hundreds chart as a puzzle. So if I were to have this number 89 here in the puzzle, uh, and I didn't have any other numbers in the puzzle, I could very easily figure that out because anytime I'm counting back and forth on the number line, then I'm counting by ones, right? Anytime I'm counting back and forth, so 89, one box before 89 would actually be 88. And then if I were counting down anytime, I'm counting up in numbers by 10. And if I'm counting backward, I'm counting backward by 10. So if I want to fill in this slot right here, I see 88, I'm going to count forward. So 88 becomes 98 because I'm counting by 10s. And then 98 becomes 108 because again, I'm counting by 10s up because I'm going down the number line. If I look over here, I have to try to figure out this box. Well, there's nothing in this box, but I can imagine that because I'm counting this way, I'm counting by ones, and I'm going to go up because I'm counting this way, this direction. So I'm going to go 98, 99, this would be 100. And then I know I'm counting by ones again, so what comes after 100? 100 and 1. Then, because I have this box filled in, I can fill in this box really easy. So here we go. I'd say 101, and I'm counting by tens. So now it would be 111 for this next number. Let me do one more. If we were going to look at these boxes here, and I started out with this number, remember that when I'm going up and down, I'm counting by tens, right? So here we go. I'm going to go up this time. If I'm going up, I'm going backwards. Right? So it's not going to be 32. I'm going backwards. It's going to be 22. And if I go back again, up, backwards again, it goes up and the numbers get smaller. So it's not 22, it's 12. And then if I go back down, we go from 32. I'm going back down. The numbers are getting bigger. So I'm going to count again up. So 32 becomes 42 because I'm counting by tens when I go up and down like this. If I go across this way and I go to the number before this one because I'm going backwards. So the number before 42 is 41. And then if I go here to 12, the number before 12 is 11. Because I'm going this way, I'm counting by ones. When I'm going this way, I'm counting by tens.